right, guys, how you doing? I am in Bradford. As you can see, possibly, you might know Bradford just by looking at it. I've been here so many times. So today is the day I finally send out one of the the uh, tequila bottles. This one's going to Lisa all the way to England. Uh, I attempted to send it through UPS and they wanted to charge me $350. So I'm hoping that Canada Post can get it there considerably cheaper. Anyway, let me just go get this out of my car, send it off to Lisa, amazing supporter of the channel for many years, so she deserves it. And uh, I'm not gonna hit it anymore. I swear I'm not gonna hit it. I just realized how many times I hit that thing. All right, so let's go in there. Got my phone, wallet, keys, mask. Stop with the noises, dude. It, oh, and then the phone rings. Chaos. The phone call was apparently uh, me accepting or somebody using my identification at the border to bring illegal substances into the into the country which and it's all automated as opposed to an actual human being contacting me so that's bs don't ever answer those phone calls people don't ever reply to them anyway all right let's get this done So that is off. Uh, so it only cost $32 to send that all the way to England as opposed to $350. Uh, but if they wanted tracking, uh, it was $86. And I'm like, I don't need tracking. But uh, so Lisa, it is on its way. You lucky girl. Look how close this guy parked right beside me. Wow. Wow. All right, let's get going to the mall and we're picking up our computer now. Sweet. I kind of forgot to bring you up to date at the beginning of this, of this vlog. I was like really close to the uh, post office and I kind of forgot to give you a heads up as to what's going on. So I packed up all the, the vases or vases or tequila bottles, whatever you want to call them now. Uh, I packed up five of them and I'm sending them to five lucky people. And I just wanted to send Lisa's first because I promised her the first bottle. I just wanted to see how much it cost, especially sending it to England. And I'm glad it's only $32. Cool, that's one job I have to do today. Next job is I got a call from Apple saying your computer is ready to be picked up. Uh, I'm not sure if I've talked to you guys about uh, the computer uh, in a vlog, but uh, I had a pixel out right at eye level, right in the middle of my screen, right where things happened. So uh, it's still under warranty because I bought it last uh, September. So I brought it to the Apple store. They ordered the part. I had to bring it back to them again. And when the part came in, gave it to them last Thursday or Friday, and then they called me today. Was it last Thursday or Friday? I can't remember what day, I don't even know. It's Friday now. So I think I've had the computer, yeah, it's been gone for like a week almost. So uh, they've replaced the screen and they said you can come pick it up. So now I'm at Upper Canada Mall. Uh, last night, uh, or the night before, Carol said, uh, I think our freezer in the garage is dying and uh, this morning it was dead so we, uh, luckily it was still cold in there we could rescue uh, important expensive items meat wise whatever and get that uh, into our freezer in the house so we have a uh, like a deep freeze chest freezer in the garage and then we have like a regular fridge freezer in the house and so the deep freeze is for long-term storage of stuff and uh, so we got expensive stuff out and then we also uh, asked a neighbor if we could use their um, any space they had just for a little bit until we get our uh, until we get our new freezer so after this we're gonna go over to Best Buy check out their freezers I'm gonna do like an online shop with Carol and so she can pick the one that she wants um, or I'll just text her a picture of it, whatever. So I like to park as close as I can to the mall, but in this situation, I'm just gonna be carrying the computer 
as a whole instead of I, I didn't bring my huge box like I do when I go up to the cottage and stuff so uh, let's go in there grab our computer and then uh, we'll go to Best Buy window shopping never hurt anyone computer back and uh, replace the whole screen if I have any more issues then I have to bring it back but uh, yeah it's gonna be all nice and spiffy clean Sweet. mall is all done picked up my computer of course it was free under warranty I did buy the Apple care when I brought it in the first time because uh, you have up to a year to uh, to buy the Apple care you don't have to buy it right away when you use up your your year membership and then decide after that I shouldn't open that yet darn it let's open that that's how we're gonna do it so uh, another thing over the last year that's been bugging me is the fact that when uh, we had the boys weekend up at the cottage in the fall uh, Paul and I were sitting right beside no it wasn't it was the springtime he came up to help us put the dock in and uh, while we're sitting there we did a speed test on our phones and he's on rogers i'm on telus we did the speed test he was getting i don't know 50 mega 50 megabits per second download and like 30 megabits per second upload which is uh, amazing for a phone to get and uh mine was getting like i don't know five to ten download and 0 0.7 upload and uh you know we both have iphones he's on rogers i'm on telus uh but again when i go to the end of the lake i get really good reception uh but i won't have to go to the end of the lake so when i was talking to the people at apple uh they said that they um she said sometimes if you just change out your sim card and it's free so I, uh, she gave me one and uh, I took it to TELUS and TELUS helped me swap it out. No big deal, it was pretty easy. And uh, so hopefully my phone gets uh, good reception from here going forward at the cottage especially. And when I'm in Rusty and if I call Paul or Carol, uh, it like drops the, all of a sudden they're like, hello, I can't hear you, hello, can't hear you. So and it only happens in Rusty, it doesn't happen in this car. Um, so I'm thinking that there's something in the car interfering with the phone. I was also thinking it could be the phone, the antenna, like that goes around the phone. I have dropped this phone several times, not that it's smashed, but it is possible that something inside got damaged. I don't know. Other than that, everything else kind of works fine, but at least I uh, got that done. Uh, we'll see if it works or not. Next stop is Best Buy and we're gonna look at freezers. And I also wanna buy a uh, barbecue top cover uh, or barbecue cover and uh, ours has fallen apart over the last I don't know six years or more all right next stop Best Buy Best Buy time to buy a freezer appliances Carol's thinking maybe an upright freezer. Got lots of fridges. So it looks like this is the only one they have that I can see. This is definitely smaller than the one we have. It's got the hanging basket. This, this went with that right there. Two meters, hmm, five cubic feet. Look at this cool fridge. 
retro fridge and freezer for your bar. That'd be cool. Got the attention of a couple salespeople. Tried to help me. Went to the back. Came back a few minutes later. Out of stock. The guy even scanned it for me too. You think the phone would tell them that they're out of stock. And I didn't want to buy the one that's on the floor. I'm not sure if you guys are that kind of people who buys the floor ones. I've done it in the past because I was desperate to have something. And it saved me a little bit of money. But uh, I'm not... 100% desperate to have a floor model of a freezer. So I'm not sure what it could possibly be very well, perfectly fine. But Lowe's is like the next, sorry, but that was a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, Lowe's is like the next building over that might be able to sell it. And of course, I think Canada, Canadian Tire is there. I'm not sure if Home Depot sells, I think they do, they sell kitchen stuff. So Home Depot would be my last resort. I made it into Lowe's and I got one of the things I needed, which is a barbecue barbecue cover. Uh, I'd like to buy a Cuisinart one, but I don't think they sell them here. Uh, they do Broil King and stuff like that, but they don't do Cuisinart and Weber. But uh, there's Weber's there, but I'm not sure who is who's better, <laughs> Armor All or those guys. This one's only like I don't know. This is definitely cheaper than that one. I think this is only 35 bucks. Yeah, 30, 34 dollars. And that's uh, that's all I need. Save some money and uh, protect my barbecue for a little bit longer. I asked a lady, kind lady, and she said down here. So I grabbed a cart and uh, now I gotta look for freezers. Ooh, bigger selection here. Fridges, Samsung, more fridges come on freezers oh there's a chest freezer and that's the same one similar no that's a bit bigger all right hmm i'll let you know they've got these huge freezers which we don't need oh that doesn't even want to open is there a lock Oh, jeez. It's got a handle on both sides. So these are great if you want to store a lot of food. That's $800, 900 bucks. This is $400. And it might be easier to store stuff vertically than a chest. This one's 375 Hmm. Time to call Carol again. Well, once again, my plans have been foiled. So they have tons at the just distribution distribution center, but uh, at least they had this. They don't, and she says they had six in, but the customers can't pick them up already. So, yep. Oh well. Oh, drop my bill. Don't drop the bill. Just in case it's broken. I don't know. All right, last stop is Home Depot. I guess try them out. See if they've got what we need. Oh, made it back up to Bradford. And we're gonna give Canadian Tire a shot. If not, uh, the Home Depot is just down there. Let's do it. Well, they got the chest freezer thing, but we're now hooked on the tall freezer. And I guess we're off to another store. Ah, uh, no luck today, eh? Oh well, uh, one more try and then we don't have a freezer. Or we'll order it from Lowe's. Because that's the one we liked. Home Depot. And then Walmart. I like that sink. It's so cool. I don't know. Doesn't look good. Except As you can see, we are back home. Just wanted to show you my very full garage I need to purge as you guys know so here that's where 
the chest was. This was the chest freezer, uh, Bullmark. It lasted, I think we got this in here, like in 1994 or five, and it was at Carol's parents' cottage for years. So it's probably 25 to 30 years old, and I finally bit the biscuit. So we ended up buying this one. Uh, I guess I got it at Home Depot. Home Depot was the last place I went to. And they had this Frigidaire. It was regularly $575. And I got it for $300 and something dollars. $350. So, or uh, just after taxes. Another thing was $440 after taxes and all that stuff. So, yeah. It's we're, we haven't turned it on yet. Uh, you, apparently, it's just to wait a certain amount of hours after you buy a brand new thing if it's been tilted. So it's that tall. It's up to my shoulder in height. I think it's a seven, seven cubic foot. Seven or uh, no, maybe it's eight and a half. I can't remember. Anyway, I think this one was at least seven to ten because that's quite big. And then, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fridge guy. Carol's going to turn this on before she goes. And then uh, hopefully it'll be nice and freezing cold. Put some stuff in. We salvaged mostly everything. We found uh, a flank steak in here. Uh, in the thing. So we're going to bring that up to the cottage. And Anyway, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. Finalize the day. And uh, show you. Fin finish that. I also got uh, a new SIM card. Did I tell you guys that? I can't remember. So many things have happened since then. All right, so it's Friday. It is quarter to seven. I'm going up to the cottage. See you up there. Taking Rusty.